all day long because it's I like getting as a student yeah. I like attaining the understanding mm -hmm. before applying the technique that's just Absol me no, that's absolutely. just me that's the plan don't give me a hammer if I don't know how to hit the nail yet absolutely absolutely so I will sit and I will sit and listen to you first <laughs> all day long right but this is what takes the place of that. What's wonderful about that is everybody's reached in different ways. And I am not, you know, I'm not illiterate, but I'll tell you what, I have to read something like three, four times before it absorbs. Mm. But that's the beauty of it, is mm. that you have the lecture, but better than that, you have a concise, um, you have a concise version of these teachings mm. that with visual aids that, um, that help you through it so that you, so that, you well, you know if you <laughs> if you want to speak up in class, you have something to back your thoughts. You know, well, page seventy six, you state this. Oh, sweet! Now we can really get into it. If you if you let's say you're an outside martial artist and you're not one of my students, you can become one of my students just for a little while just right. by having the book. Right. You know, you get to you get to go inside and you get to find out the truth of of the meaning behind it all, and it's going to enhance your understanding of everything. I mean, I spent 10 years on it, guys. 10 years. 11. Well, yeah, 11 with the formatting and everything. It's oh, true. Okay. Yeah, ref yeah, it's true. But, but, for, but for 10 years, and really longer than that, I started taking notes when, when, in 1990, I started taking notes, hoping to one day write a book. So there was about 10 years, there was about 10 years of note-taking. Mm. Then, then there was 10 years of writing. And the plan behind that was, I believe it was, um, you know, it was 11 years of answering the same questions in the dojo. What's this? What's that? Sensei, what's this? Why do we do that? Why do we do that? Regi Saho, every, every part of Regi Saho is detailed and explained, uh, dojo etiquette is detailed and explained inside this book. So, right, so... <clears throat> Sensei has saved us the, the years of questioning mm -hmm. by making this book, mm -hmm. which I think is a huge addition to the art itself. Mm -hmm. Who else has put Sogu Bajisu in English? No one. Yeah. Now, the plan is that it's, I'm, I'm saving you time in questioning. I'm saving you time in... in configuration of the of the answering I'm saving you time and everything but if you if you figure this right <laughs> look at the size of this thing it upside down uh, we're good that's a weapon right yeah, I think it's like five pounds ten pounds it, it's it's heavy so <laughs> wow that is pretty heavy so so here's the thing guys if you had to pay for that kind of class time how many classes? Oh my God, that's a lifetime. How many classes are in there? Oh my God, you'd be old and gray by the time you learn all that. That's a lot of classes. It, no, it, it really is. That's a lot of classes. Um, it's not just my notes. It's everything my sensei was trying to convey to me. It's not just that. It's all the stories that were passed from my sensei, um, from from um, my sensei about his sensei. There's a lot of stories of that. The story of how this art came to this country is detailed in this book. The story of the different families that Tanimura Katsumi Sensei trained with and brought together in a culmination is in this book. Um, what's not in there? <laughs> That's the question. It's, uh, it's, it's really... <laughs> Stealing it. I'm very proud. That's how I feel about it. I'm very proud of it. That's how I feel about it. I have, I actually have the first version mm -hmm. of this book, mm -hmm. uh, paperback, mm -hmm. and I and I still love that book. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I would get it while you can, and uh, it's 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 um, it would be an addition to your to your collection, at least in my opinion. Absolutely. I'd have got to go to Mas for putting this book together. And saving us all, at least his students, I can appreciate it because it saves a whole lot of time. A whole lot of time. <laughs> now, what it what it's gonna do? This is what it's really gonna do. It's gonna take, it's gonna take your question because there's no end to this Marshall journey. There's no end to it. 
I'm gonna take your question. It's gonna answer. It's gonna answer. It's gonna answer eleven years of questions, so that, so that you are basically a black belt mentally, and asking black belt questions about black belt application, um, taking a, a beginner and giving him a master's mind. That was the plan. That was the, that was the strategy behind it, and now. <laughs> what we want is we want that equilibrium. We want we want to take your mental to, to an incredible height, and then we want to train to get your physical to meet it, and and bring your emotional along with it. Mm -hmm. This is going to infuse you <coughs> with with that mental understanding. The plan is to inspire that emotional, <laughs> equip you with with the drive, help you help you with that drive. This is how it came about. This is why it came about to inspire you to have that emotional content when you're ready to train and get you ready to train. And then all we need to do is physically train you in the dojo. You'll have such a, such a wonderful foundation that you'll be able to, to build on. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to rely on. Mm -hmm. when, when people ask you questions about the art, you won't go, uh, uh well, yeah. Uh. It won't be Ask Sensei anymore. <laughs> It won't be because it really it's all in the book. Yeah, it's all in the book. It really is. Yeah. It's like no more of that. You know how much that goes on? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, what's the name for this? What's the term for this? It's in there. Yeah. And if you just look, just for instance, right? We'll just do this real quick. One thing, one thing that my students had always asked for. Was they say, "What's inside Sogo Bujutsu? What's in it?" I know, you know, that we do stick fighting. We do this. We do that. What's in it? The way it was set up in scrolls, and the way it was presented in a Japanese mindset, was difficult for Westerners to understand. So this is what I did. I spent years outlining Sogo Bujutsu. Now these are the, the scrolls that you that you originally had, right? Right. Absolutely. Yes. Wow. Now, now this. Yeah, there's pictures of everything. <coughs> everything is documented here. So here, um, the plan is that it. it I know, I know martial arts, and I know that they love to debate things. And my plan was to was to throw so much information at, at them, so much proof. So there's no room for debate. Hmm. It's just, would you like to learn or not? You know, let's. That's not why you write a book. You don't write a book so that it can be debated. Right. And and I needed to, you know, that's why it took a long time too. There was a lot of research that went into it. There was a lot of you know making certain that the foundation was set in granite. So nobody's moving it, nobody's deciding, well, you know, I don't know if that's even strong. You can push on that wall as much as you want. But the point is, um, the outline. The outline is a Western's understanding, a Western view, and understanding of, of how Soga Bujutsu would break down. I just, did, I just did this the exact way that my college English teacher told me to. I outlined, I outlined the entire martial art. Every heading, every subheading, you know, in a tremendous amount of detail. That this is the this is the art just outlined. That's only the major headings and subheadings. Battlefield strategies in here. This is history. The history section is vast and massive. Inspirational sayings and thoughts from from generations back. Seventeen years while I was taking notes for seventeen years, I wrote down every term in martial arts that I didn't understand. This is the glossary. The glossary is huge. Huge. It's going to tell you just the glossary alone is worth four times what I'm selling the book for. I can't even tell you what this book is worth, what, what it's worth to me. Hopefully it's worth even more to you. It's huge. Yeah.